Now, France is hosting several African leaders in Paris for a summit to discuss ways of providing financial support to help relaunch African economies after the COVID-19 pandemic. French President Emmanuel Macron is calling it a new deal for Africa and invited to the conference are the leaders of more than a dozen African countries and representatives, uh, including from the World Bank, the IMF and the Paris Club. Macron is proposing debt relief for both public and private entities hit hardest by the COVID-19 pandemic as he hosts creditors and debtors to discuss ways of providing funding to certain sectors of the African economy. Well, let's bring you more now on what African nations can expect from the France-Africa Finance Summit. And for this discussion, let's bring in Edwin Okoria, the Executive Director for Africa at the One Campaign. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, he's joining us via Zoom from Abuja. Thank you so much for your time, Edwin. Uh, positive news for Sudan coming out of this summit so far with regards to debt cancellation. But what else do you think African leaders will be asking for or expecting from today's meeting? Thank you for having me. I, I think one of the biggest expectations from this meeting is the continued conversation on the SDRs or the Special Drawing Rights um, Allocation that has been uh, agreed by the IMF and uh, you know other world global leaders um, during the last World Bank Spring meetings. What we expect is that there will be continued momentum around that so that at least nothing, no stone will be left unturned to ensure that those SDRs or the special drawing rights are actually allocated. But more importantly, really, because uh, $650 billion of what of SDRs has been agreed, but of that, only a paltry 30 billion will be coming to the whole of Africa. And so the expectation is that during this summit, there will be major conversation about how the rich countries who are going to get almost $280 billion worth of SDRs will recycle their own SDRs for other poorer countries to be able to um, get, uh, get back on track in terms of economic recovery. Of course, you know that African countries have a current financing gap as estimated by the World Bank and the IMF of over $345 billion between now and 2023. And so this conference should be giving um, really a pathway for how Africa can get that kind of financing to help its recovery um, from the pandemic. Indeed, and of course, uh, those finance gaps have been exposed even more so by the pandemic. But it's not only state co uh, coffers that have suffered. We know that private businesses across the continent really felt the pain of this pandemic and, and uh, suffered severely. So how do private businesses get their voices heard at the summit level? And how do they benefit from any finance relief that may emerge from these meetings? Thank you. I think that is a big question. But of course, each country has its own mechanism of um, uh, developing uh, the financing framework for relief for countries that are for uh, businesses that have been most affected, particularly the number of jobs that have been lost because private sector businesses couldn't, you know, survive during the course of the pandemic. It is time for African countries to begin to think about the most uh, uh, direct framework of financing those sectors, particularly sectors that have been hit hardest, like tourism, like the air, air, air transport business, right? Those ones have been really, really um, hit. Uh, hotels are closed down. Many, many hotels are closed down because of low patronage. So this is a time where if they get the lease of life, if they, if they get the financial relief that this conference could discuss and the, and the money is, becomes available at the country level, then each country is responsible for protecting jobs in the economy because the economic fallout and the hardship that will come if private sectors don't get this um, uh, funding, it's really going to be very tough. And that's why we are, the, the expectation is that as the money has become available, as the funds become available from SDRs or from debt relief, right, the, the private sector, the, the businesses particularly who have been hit hardest will, will be uh, prioritized so that at least jobs can be protected. But more as well, uh, as, as much as jobs, is also how do we get, get to the end of the pandemic? Um, like things like vaccines, you know, things like education, because without all of this as well, the pandemic will stay longer and then the economic hardship will continue to go on for a long time, which will affect private businesses more. And that may well be the true test for this summit, whether or not this debt relief trickles down to ordinary citizens. Thank you so much, Edwin Okoria, joining us there via Zoom from Abuja.